everybody, it's Christine. It's time for a scrap lift craft afternoon. Let me show you first um, the layout here. I think this was found by Kimberly, and I believe this is by Rebecca Ruiz. It, it looks like it's a Simple Stories, um, perhaps she's on their design team, I'm not really sure. I haven't watched the video yet, to be honest. But what she's got is a summer layout. She's got stripe. This might be washi tape or something. Um, it's kind of, it's basically papers coming from this direction. Then she's got a stencil of a like sun rays thing coming out from under here. She's got a tag. Um, basically all of her embellishment clusters, there's one, two, three, but then there's this tiny little one down here. Kind of maybe this is a big giant one. Let's look at it that way uh, with the title in there. A little bit journaling. Okay, so what I have is actually she has three photos. I technically have four because this is my husband and my daughter on an ATV excursion when they were in, well, I'll have to find out. It's either Utah or Montana or something like that. So I'll find that out. <clears throat> now I went digging. None of my current collections are quite yet summertime or in any way, like I would suggest outdoorsy really. There was one that was kind of, but not really. So it's more like gardening and that's not gonna work. So I went digging. I have this like older Jubilee collection from My Mind's Eye and it's got some other things in it. I don't know what this is, just squirt. Mm, it's still my mind's eye. Anyways, this I saw because I go, well, that's a that's a that's a sunray, but then I don't know if I can make this work or not. So I don't know, I might tear that or something. <clears throat> but anyway, I kind of saw this because I also had it also has a chipboard deal, and there's kind of some neat little like adventure type things. There's like you know best part of today, and fly me away. I don't that that may not work because of course they're on ATV, but I don't know. There's some stuff that might work here, and then there's some cute little. Uh, cards, pocket cards, and it says like, enjoy your life. That was fun. So I might can make those work. And then there's this interesting transparent frames, but I don't know about this because this would typically go over the top of the photo. And I don't know that I want to do that. So not sure about it, but this is what I'm starting with. I'm going to get my papers ready. I'm going to trim these down. I'm going to get that, those papers on the side ready. Um, Oh, I think I've got some white cardstock in here too, y'all. So I may go ahead and use the white cardstock as the background. I don't always do that. I don't know. I gotta think about this just a minute. So let me do that and I'll come back on in a second. Okay, you guys, I haven't done very much because <clears throat> I started to, I was looking at the papers and y'all, I just have to use this Daring Adventure paper. I'm sorry, it's just gonna happen because it's just too cute for this layout, <clears throat> which means I'm gonna have to deviate just a tad because it's wider than the scrap lift. She had like a little another set of papers over here, like a stripe and stuff. And I'm not gonna have room for that, but I really want this. And technically I guess my title's kind of moving since that's <laughs> so big. So I'll end up with stuff here. I don't mean to suggest I won't. I'll probably put the, I'll get a little journaling tag or something, but I just, I have to use that title y'all. And I think I'm gonna end up looking something like this. And so I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to map these photos y'all um, because I'm going to end up with not enough room if I do that. So I'm going to think I'm going to end up with something like this. So I'm just going to stop in and say that. Um, I just think that looks really cute. <laughs> so <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be back on in a minute. Okay, guys. So I have glued down that wood grain with that phrase on it. And I've glued down the yellow. And I decided that I wanted to add one more little set of color in between. And so I found this little... Um, mm, I guess arrow, pointy arrow looking paper. Now, I don't know if I said this earlier, I don't know that I did, but the, the sheet with the wood grain for some reason was just a hair smaller than 12 by 12, which was totally fine because it kind of gives this matted look almost, but that meant this little arrow paper here I had to trim just a tad. So you're kind of seeing me make those adjustments. Y'all, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Um, I think it's, it's still an homage to the original, which you can kind of see on my iPad right there. Um, not not exactly the same, obviously, because again, my pictures and things like that turn a little differently, but I'm still really pleased with this. I think this turned out cute. And I was able to add a little card that kind of acts as her title, you know, how she where she has her title. So it's gonna you'll see that in a minute. Um, so what I had done before I picked my pictures up is I put washi tape on them because I really, really liked I'd worked really hard to get them organized exactly the angles and spacing and all that kind of stuff. So I'd used washi tape to hold it together until I put double-sided tape on the back side. And initially I wasn't going to mat these things. And I guess technically I'm not actually matting them, but I saw on her layout, she had kind of those little layers behind the photos. And I thought I really need to do something. 
uh, I think just to kind of, again, you know, do the lift a bit, a bit little closer to the lift or whatever. So I had the left that left over of that, this arrow paper. And I thought, you know, I can cut little pieces and kind of stick them behind. So I do cut some pieces and then I'll have to kind of like mini gut them. If you want to look at it like that, I'll cut it because I'd already glued the pictures down, obviously. But I think this looks kind of neat. So I cut it and then I kind of, like I said, mini gut it where it'll go behind the picture where I don't have the double-sided tape. And I'll do that behind each of the pictures. And I think this looks really cute. I'm kind of happy with this because it brings that little arrow paper back in as well. So um, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to cut away in just a second because I'm going to start pulling out all the ephemeras. Oh, and the little cards. I pulled out these little pocket cards because I knew on the back I had looked and, you know, saw the little previews or whatever. And there was a card that said that was fun. And I really wanted to use that because I thought that's a really cute title too. So I've kind of got almost two titles, you know, that was fun. And then Life is a Daring Adventure. And I think this looks perfect. Um, but then there's all these other little cards. And I thought, okay, there's got to be a little journaling one. And here's, here's what I pick out for that. So she had like a tag kind of behind her title. And then she journaled on a little another little thing below. And I'm using this just a little differently because I'm using this... Um, this black and white stripe, almost as kind of a tag-ish, but then I will end up doing my journal. I don't actually take pictures or anything of the journaling because I did it after I took the final pictures. But what I'll tell you about the pictures. So what these pictures are, I think I mentioned maybe in the intro, is my husband and my daughter went on this ATV excursion. Um, this was in 2020. So they were originally supposed to go to Canada to uh, celebrate my daughter's college graduation. It was their daddy dollar plan. They had been planning on going to Banff, Canada. My daughter really wanted to go. Well, everybody knows what happened in 2020 and they closed Canada. <laughs> so they could not go to Canada. So this was in August. And so by that time, you know, some of the states had kind of opened up and everything. So Arizona happened to be one of them. Plus they wanted to go outside anyway. The whole point was to be outside. And so they were able to get to, to Arizona. So in Arizona, they had these ATV. My husband is a thrill seeker, y'all. He just loves to do all the things. Like he wants to do scary stuff all the time. And my daughter, bless her little heart, she's a good sport. She'll go with her daddy because I'm darn sure not doing it. I'm a, I'm a wuss. I can't do it. <laughs> so she does go with him and, and he'll kind of talk her into stuff. So that's what they were doing here. It was an excursion. I think, I don't know if it's this trip, my apologies. I don't know if it's this trip or the next trip they went on because they do have, they've been doing it every year now. They've been on a hiking trip since then. Um, they did a hot air balloon one, uh, at one of the trips. So they really enjoyed that too. Um, that might've been the next year, but I'm so sorry. I have to look that up. Uh, anyways, I'm kind of going through all the chipboards and ephemeras and things here. So I've pulled out those cards. You can see that I pulled out a little banner. Um, she kind of had something at the very top that like, it was a little extra layer, I think, but I, I added this banner because I thought this looked kind of cute. I'm, I do put Arizona 2020 on it after I, um, again, I don't think after I finish the video and all that kind of stuff, I write on there, Arizona 2020. And then I'm trying to put stuff kind of where she had her little clusters. Um, I do put this rainbow up here and I leave that for a good little while, but that's not what ends up staying there. I did find that little like shield thing with the stripes on it. I use that as an embellishment. That's, I just add a little flower in a minute out of the ephemera pack, but um, I find some arrows. There's a little flower that stays there. That's just less, a nice little cluster. Mine are not quite as uh, filled out as hers. She had a few more little like things in her clusters, and mine aren't quite so much. But I think it's because, you know, I not think, I know. I just don't really have the room without, you know, with the pictures. I have four pictures instead of three and stuff like that. So, and plus my colors and things. Some of these worked really well. But it's it's also got a lot of, I don't mind some florals, but it was almost like it's a little over the top on some of them. And I really didn't want to add, you know, like you can see some of the stuff on the left side. There's like some tags with tons of florals and stuff. And I'm like, this isn't really a floral type layout. So I don't mind adding a couple, but by the same token, I didn't want to over floralize it. <laughs> um, so I put a little green, green and white polka dotted arrow that's up there. That's not going to be the one that stays there. I do put an arrow there, but that's not going to be the one that goes there. Sorry, that was my alarm. I don't know why it was so late in the morning because it's 7 something in the morning. But anyway, um, I'm just kind of poking around. I, just, I think about this little pastel colored flower and I decide against that. Um, I just I just don't like how that looks, y'all. <laughs> I changed my mind. I like this rainbow and I, I kind of wished I could have used it, but it really didn't make sense either. So I'll take that off in a minute. Um, I'm going to end up, what am I doing here, y'all? Oh, I'm trying to get this little black and white frame thing. This is what I end up with. Um, it was kind of in the chipboard set over there, and I really kind of like this. So I take that off, and I put that behind, and that looks cute. I like this a lot. Um, I'm going to end up finding, 
I don't know when I do this now. I don't forget. There's a little gray heart chipboard, a teeny little heart on the chipboard thing. I'm going to get that in a minute, just in just a second too. But here's where I'm going. Okay, I kind of need to fill out some of this stuff. So I do pick out a couple more florals. I pick that one up and then I pick up a little bit smaller one to put in the lower right because I have that little arrow with the, the um, it's, it matches the paper. Um, and it's sitting there, but I, I'm not really in love with the fact that it's kind of just sitting there where it's at. So I'm going to find another floral in just a second and put it underneath that arrow. And I think that looks pretty cute. I also have in the lower right down there on the bottom picture, it says so fun. It's like almost like a little speech bubble. And I think that's cute. I kind of use that. You, I don't know if you remember, there was a hot air balloon on the right hand side of that paper above the word adventure. And I've managed to cover that up uh, with a photo. And then I use the so fun to cover up the little very bottom of that uh, um, hot air balloon, so you don't really see that. So I'm thinking that I'm getting close to um, having all my embellishments picked out, I think. Give me a second. I'm going to end up changing that black arrow for that green and white one. It just made more sense to me. The green and white was a little bit too much in my face. Um, this might be now where I don't go looking for the little tiny chipboard heart. I'll see that and go, oh, you know what? I'm going to use that. Because I kept looking at the chipboard. I kept thinking there's got to be something else I can use on here. And I think this is where I find that teeny little heart, and I'll stick that up inside that little frame. I contemplated enamel dots, and I didn't do that. And truthfully, I kept looking at this because she did have that stenciled sun ray coming out, and I kept thinking about it, but I didn't I didn't do the mixed media underneath. I, I just decided not to, y'all. I was kind of in, I don't want to say in a hurry, but I just, I didn't want to mess with it. <laughs> if that's not, if that's terrible, I'm sorry, but I just didn't feel like messing with it, and um, so I went through and I glued all my stuff down. This is me at the very tail end of me gluing. I actually use this. It's the foam dart part. So I glued everything else down, mostly using Nuvo glue, if I'm honest, because I didn't want to lift anything up to use the tape gun. So this is me using, um, some foam dots. Um, so I put some underneath that banner at the top up there. I'll put some on the very top part of this. That was fun card. And I'll put a little bit of foam underneath the flower that is at the bottom of the journal journaling card there. I'll put some on the top piece of that. And then also that's so fun. I put some uh, foam dots underneath that. So that's the dimension I kind of created with the foam dots. And I decided looking at this, I'm going, okay, I didn't do the mixed media underneath and I wasn't going to do anything else, but I'll sit here and I'm going to look at it and I'll think, no, Christine, <laughs> you got to do a little something because she did have things going on on that white cardstock over there. So in just a second, I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to run over to my my little spray wall here. I have a whole little wall with sprays and I will pick out two different colors. I try one. It was a Dilutions, like called something sun. I didn't care for that. So I end up with this um, Tattered Angels and I think it's called Sunflower. And so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this on there. It doesn't make a sun ray or anything like that, but it is kind of an homage to the yellow that she had used on her layout. And I think it looks pretty. It's got a lot of shimmer in it too, which is really neat. And um, that's all I'm going to do this layout, y'all. So I'm going to kind of clean this mess up and move that out of the way. And then I'll slow it down so you can see it. I think this turned out really cute. I'm not going to lie. I'm really happy with it. I sent it to my daughter. She was like, oh, I love that. You know, and I, I do have my little bit of journaling underneath that card there um, before I put it in the album here. But I think this turned out really cute. I love the layout, the scrap lift. So Make sure you check out the original. Make sure you check out the playlist. All my scrapping pals are um, they're playing along. You'll see who all's in there. And thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.